All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Pros next go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're going to talk about match coverage and how we can use it to defend bunch and other compressed sets. Now, we're going to be talking about how Palms utilizes the box check. Okay, and before we get into that, we do want to go into our coach adjustments and make sure that our zone coverage is set to match. Okay, now when we go to our play, again, we're going to come out and cover four Palms. You're going to see here uh, what the play art looks like. Now, we're really going to focus on the bunch side of this play. Uh, but I do want to mention how this is going to play against different looks, right? So what we're going to do is on each side of the field, it's going to be like a split field coverage, right? And on each side of the field, we're going to have a plus one advantage based off of their number of receiving threats. Okay, so if you look to the left side of the field, they have two receiving threats, right? They have the running back and they have the outside receiver. On the left side of the field for us, we have three defenders. Right, we have the quarter flat, we have the deep safety, and we have the outside corner. So on the left side here, we're playing three over two. And then on the right side, they have three receiving threats, right? They have the tight end, the slot, and then the outside. And we're gonna have four defenders, right? We have the quarter flat, the outside corner, the deep safety, and the three wreck. Okay, so on the right side here, we're playing four over three. On the left side here, we're playing three over two. Now, like I said, we're really gonna focus on this four defender side, right? The strong side of this formation to understand what the box check is, okay? And there is an issue with it uh, that we will need to adjust to correct as well and we'll talk about that here in this video also okay now what we're going to do here is first of all we're going to talk about what the box check is and if you think about these four defenders we're going to think about them like a box okay now this quarter flat here is going to cover the first outbreaking route to the outside right this corner is going to cover the second outbreaking route or the deep outbreaking route this safety is going to cover the deep inbreaking route and then this three wreck is going to cover the shallow inbreaking route Okay, so if you see here, they're going to form a box, right? Now, obviously, they won't be aligned like this pre-snap, but in essence, this is what they're going to do, okay? Again, this guy's taking the first to the flat, this guy's taking the deep out, this guy's taking the deep in, and this guy's taking the shallow in, okay? Now, where this can be really effective is when your opponent is running something like a flood concept, okay? So what a flood concept is, is when you're going to have a flat, a streak, and a corner route. Okay, now a lot of times corner routes do a good job of getting underneath the zone coverage, uh, but when you're running match and running palms, you'll see that the outside corner does a really good job, him and the safety, of really talking and deciding which of these vertical routes between the RB and the B are going on the corner and which one's staying on the street. Okay, so if we say hike here, you can see that it's going to be completely covered. We'll go to replay real quick just to show, uh, again, how it's going to cover this, how it's going to be very effective for us. Okay, so we go to the replay here, you'll see that again, our quarter fly is taking the first to the outside. Okay, so that's going to be the tight end on the flat. He's going to be down here on this tight end. Okay, now the real uh, great part about this coverage, in my opinion, are these is the safety in this corner. Now you see at this point, 11 and 14 are both running vertical. Okay, now this safety is going to take whoever runs down the field to the inside. And this corner is going to take whoever's running to the outside. Okay, so no matter which of these two players breaks outside on the corner route, this outside corner is going to be there and ready to take that. Okay, so if we keep the play rolling here, you can see that the slot receiver breaks to the outside on the corner, and our corner route is already waiting for him. Okay, he's not dropping back into his cover four zone. He's matching, and he's playing man coverage on this guy now that he's established. He's going vertical into the outside. Okay, so you see here, now no matter where this guy would run, he's going to cover him man to man. Okay, so if he gets to the sideline and then he breaks down, you can see that our guy is still following him. Okay, same thing would happen here, right? This guy has matched onto the vertical streak down the middle of the field, and he's now going to cover him uh, throughout the entirety of the play. Same thing with this tight end, right? Once the quarter flat matches onto him, it does not matter where he runs. He is going to follow him in man-to-man -man coverage the rest of the play. Okay, now, like I said, it doesn't matter who's running the corner. Our team's going to know how to defend that. So if we run the same thing, but we switch who's running the corner and who's running the streak, you'll see that our outside corner is still going to be in position there, even if 14 is running that corner route. Okay. So again, the safety in the corner do a really good job of communicating to make sure um, they're covering the correct guy. Now, where this coverage can have some issues is when the offense is not running somebody to the flat. 
okay so what you're gonna see here is let's say we do the same exact route combination instead of having the tight end on a flat though we have him on a drag across the field okay so what you would think is the outside corner is still gonna take that deep corner safety will take the streak and the quarter flat would just be sitting over here in the flat because no one's going to the flat I wish that's how it would play but what you'll see here is when we say hike uh, you're gonna be able to throw this corner route time and time again okay now the reason for this is the way that the game is coded is that quarter flat is taking the first outbreaking route whether it's two yards downfield or whether it's 40 yards downfield right so you see here no one's breaking to the outside we don't have a flat route so this quarter flat even though the route is behind his back now and he doesn't have a good way to turn and defend this he's still going to be responsible for this corner route um, which then leaves the streak to get doubled right so instead of this outside corner covering this corner route very well like he did in the previous examples in this example he's not because he's like the quarter flat has the first outbreaking route so he's going to take him but again the issue here is the quarter flat is never going to get the depth necessary to know how to cover this correctly so this is going to be wide open over and over okay so how do we defend this how do we defend if they're not running somebody to the flat and it is a pretty simple adjustment here that we have to make and all we have to do is we need to put um, that slot corner on a hard flat okay so if you're ever going against somebody who's continually running stuff where he's not running someone to the flat and it's dumbing out that box coverage there to the right side of the field you just need to put this guy on a hard flat and now if they run that same exact combination here where we have the drag the corner and the streak the corner and the safety are going to do a much better job of covering the two vertical routes because they know that there's no quarter flat there to take the first outbreaking route right so now that the hard flats there he's just going to take the flat area which now changes the assignment for the safety in the corner okay so if they say hike here you'll see that now our corner is going to be in perfect position to cover that corner route uh, again same exact route combination that we just ran but by making that quick little change um, to that hard flat rather than keeping the quarter flat you'll see that now these two guys are communicating differently on the back end because there is no other guy to take the corner route All right this guy we took out of match coverage and just put him in a hard flat and now this allows our safety in our corner to really work well together on picking up this streak in this corner okay now where this is going to be dangerous for you is if they're running a wheel route okay that's the only thing you'd really have to worry about if you're putting this guy in a hard flat because if you're running this play stock here right where we have the quarter flat and let's say they run something like verts okay when they're running something like verts you'll see that the quarter flat is going to cover the wheel all the way down the field okay he's gonna cover the wheel because again once he matches on to the first flat he's gonna take that the whole rest of the play okay so if we look over here to the right side as soon as he matches that guy to the flat which is the first flat here he's gonna follow him all the way down the field okay now if we're running something uh, where we switch him to a hard flat he's not gonna follow that wheel all the way down so you just have to be aware of that if they are running a combination like that okay so if they would do that and we do have the hard flat on the field what you're going to see is somebody's going to come open because now they're running three people vertical down the field and we only have two deep defenders there okay so it's really important that you know uh, what your opponent is trying to do on offense to make the appropriate adjustment on defense because if you would just leave normal stock palms here uh, against a play like verticals you're going to have much better success because this guy is going to follow this guy all the way down the field the corner will follow the second outbreaking route, which is this guy all the way down the field. And then you're gonna get a bracket or a double team on this guy going vertical because we would have three vertical defenders here. But when we switch this guy to a hard flat, he's no longer matching. So it puts this guy in a bind because he has to cover one of these two guys vertically. And obviously he can't cover both. So he's gonna take the first one, uh, which now leaves the second outbreaking route wide open down the middle of the field. So again, you do have to make sure you understand when you're putting that hard flat on the field. But if they're running something where only two of the defenders are going or two of the receivers are going vertical, like I said, something like this, uh, and then the other guy is going across the field. So he could be on a quick in route, a drag. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And then again, they could do something like this too, uh, where it comes from a different player. That's where we're going to want to put that guy on the hard flat, which will then make our defense play appropriately 
and allow them to cover the corner and the streak uh, the way that they need to be covering that down the field. If you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord where Madden pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.